friends, welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about how to know if engineering is not for you. But before we begin, if you're not already subscribed, please make sure to subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video and thought it was helpful, please leave a like. You guys are probably wondering, isn't your channel about encouraging other people to pursue engineering? But if I'm being honest, uh, it is true that it's not for everyone and I think there's some value in um, setting some expectations and cutting your losses short before you get too involved. So the purpose of this video is to, to point out um, some things that all engineers have to deal with or some things that are very important to engineering that might help you decide whether it is for you or not. Number one is do not major in engineering if you hate math and physics. Now, keyword, hate. You, you really hate it. You don't enjoy math, you don't enjoy physics. I mean, most of the time people hate things because they're not good at it, but there are some people that really just don't like math and they don't like physics and that's okay. And if you're one of those people, I really don't recommend you pursue engineering just because every single class uh, that you will ever take in engineering or like engineering course will have math. Math is the language of engineering you will use calc 1, 2, 3, differential equations, linear algebra, literally every form of math you ever heard of or were taught, you will be using engineering. So if you don't like engineer, if you don't like math and physics, I totally do not recommend you pursue it. Um, I know some of you talk to me, ask me a lot about, well, I'm not good at math, I'm not good at engineering, I'm quite average. Is it okay for me to pursue it? Now, those are two different things. You could be um, like below average at math and physics and still love engineering. Uh, what I mean by that is uh, if you're willing to improve your skills in math and physics and you're willing to put the effort and the time into it, that's fine. But if you hate it, if you really, really hate it, I recommend you don't pursue engineering. Number two is if you cannot handle stress at all. Unfortunately, you will be put through a lot of stress in college and also as an engineer. We're always follow, like trying to get to, through deadlines or so many milestones, it's almost go, 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 go. If you can't really handle stress properly, I really don't recommend you pursue engineering. I know other fields also have stress, it's just being in college sometimes is stressful, but with engineering, unfortunately, there's a, an immense amount of stress. Like it's, if you can't really handle it um, and kind of pick yourself up and just move on and like keep, keep going, keep pushing, it's probably not a good, good idea for you to pursue engineering just because it will definitely uh, be very emotionally draining. So number three is if you can't sit in one spot for hours at a time and focus on the task. A lot of people don't really realize this, but, but as an engineer in the United States, you're sitting at a computer desk for a very, very long time working on certain tasks, either coding or uh, running analysis. Even in college, your homeworks will take at least 15 to 20 hours to do and you have to be able to sit in one place for uh, a long amount of time. If that is really impossible for you, whether that would be uh, because of a physical issue or if, I don't know, you have some something that prevents you from sitting in one place, I really recommend you um, reconsider. Unfortunately, a lot of people think engineers are actually like, have a wrench and they're, you know, manually fixing things themselves, but we don't. We just sit at a computer, staring at a screen for hours at a time. Uh, for example, when I work, I work like, what, nine to 10, sometimes 12 hours a day, and I'm sitting at my computer for a long amount of time. And if that's something you can't really do, um, it's probably not a good idea to pursue engineering. All right, fourth, this one is pretty important too. I guess it kind of goes with the previous note. It's if you cannot work long hours. Unfortunately, your personal life is gonna suffer in college and when you're working as a full-time engineer. I know a lot of engineers have kids, they have families, but some part of your life is gonna suffer, especially if you're still in college, you will have to like work a long time uh, throughout a day. For example, in my case, when I was still in college, I would go to the library at like, I don't know, 10 a.m. and then not be done until 3 a.m. in the morning. So like all my day is pretty much gone. All my day is spent on studying, spent on everything that had to do with school. And if people in your life are unable to understand that, um, 
I'm like, I'm not telling you to, you know, find new people, like find a new, I don't know, wife or husband or children, you know, if you know, you know what I mean. I'm just saying that you have to set expectations. And if it's really, really important for you to uh, make sure that your family, your friends, um, they'll have to suffer with you or like you can't hang out with them, you can't spend as much time as you want with them. I do really rec uh, recommend you kind of think about it and see if it's really uh, worth it for you to pursue engineering. Now like some family members might be understanding, some people understand, they say well you are uh, busy with your school, you're working on your future, that's fine. If you have people that are understanding your life that's okay, but if you have dependents, like people that depend on you, that you have to, to be uh, there for them to either take care of them or something like that. It's probably going to be difficult um, Not impossible, but you will have a hard time uh, When you're studying engineering and even when you're a full-time engineer a lot of times we have to work very long hours For example for me sometimes I have to work night shift because we run testing on the satellite 24-7 um, So you have to be able to be uh, kind of flexible with your with your time last but not least if you don't like coding, if you hate coding, I totally do not recommend you pursue engineering. Not only, people think that computer science uh, majors and software are the only ones that do coding, but that is not true. If you're mechanical, if you're biomedical, if you're aerospace engineer, if you're elect uh, electrical engineering, everyone has to know how to code. Whether that would be Python, MATLAB, uh, I don't know, Perl, there's a lot of coding. If you do not like coding, if you hate coding keyword again hate not that you're not good at it but i'm just saying if you hate it i do not recommend you pursue engineering you should definitely uh, reconsider just because uh, every solution to every problem that we have every single day is usually uh, resolved using coding just because sometimes it's almost impossible to solve problems by hand so uh, you being able to code and being uh, excited about coding for example i love coding uh, I love MATLAB. It's been a lifesaver for me. I feel like it's the best freaking tool that has ever been uh, created for engineers, in my opinion. So, if coding is not for you, I definitely recommend you reconsider as well. Now, I know these uh, points that I shared in this video are pretty generalized, right? There's really no nothing to say that um, it's final like if one of these things you don't really you agree with or if that's you um, I think the difference between someone being unwilling to uh, follow one of these points like for example if you hate math or you hate coding or whatever it is um, sometimes it's just you're just unable to like something and I do believe that human beings don't have only one calling in life they have multiple callings in life um, and if you thought you were interested in engineering but then you realize well actually i hate math or i don't know i just think i don't like coding like it's annoying to me um and you decide to you know find something else to do that's totally fine it's not the end of the world uh but i kind of wanted to give you guys some points to help you make the decision a little bit earlier before spending a lot of time uh, either going to college for engineering and then realizing years later that you don't really like it. Well, that was all for today. I really guess hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I kind of shed some light on some points that you should keep in mind when you're uh, deciding to pursue engineering. Uh, let me know down below if you guys have any other ideas, trying to help other people figure out what they want to do in life. And yeah, if you enjoyed it, please click the thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.